Hey, what's up, guys? Let me just prepare the drink, and then I'm gonna bring on Perth Luxury, and we'll talk about Omega versus Rolex. Just a second. Actually, you know, let's 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 let him in. Hello, Perth Luxury. How's it going? Good morning, or oh, good hey. evening, wherever you are. <laughs> oh yeah, it is evening, man. Today. I wasted a whole kind of day, you know. I I went try try I tried to go filming right in the in the park. Tried to make this video about the fragrance. Man, there's everybody's making noise. There were so many people out there. I forgot like all the COVID restrictions were lifted. People were just walking Ooh. around everywhere, no masks, freaking breathing down your neck. Can't get a second of peace. New York is fully alive, guys. It's a disaster. I want out. Well, don't, 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 don't come here, Tim. Tim per, per, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to use the Trumpism, but I'm gonna call it a shithole compared to uh, compared to New York. Now you know what? What is Perth? What is that? I I, I oh, didn't no. I didn't bother looking it up. So, if you can tell me about a little bit about Perth. Shit, uh... What is Perth? Uh, Where is uh, that even? You said you were from Boston, right? Originally. Originally from Boston, right? And then... Yeah. And then what happened? Born and raised in Perth. And so, you moved to Perth? Did your parents yeah. move or yeah. you moved with them? Like, how, 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 how long... Like, is that okay to talk about this? Because... Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. From six six months, six months actually. Oh so, wait yeah, a minute! Ra- you ra- six ra- months ra- ago you ra- moved ra- to Perth? No, 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 no. Ray raised ah. in Perth from six months old. Sorry, that's my bad. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so that's that's why I don't sa- sound like back home. But uh, yeah, whenever whenever guys like like JJ are on, I I I, I mean, l- lucky for JJ, he's a Mets fan. <laughs> ah. Oh, and Jubilee Jubilee says Perth is the capital of Western Australia. It's a beautiful uh, city and mining centric. Interesting. Yeah, it's full, full of uh, full of full of mining stuff. So, I mean, in in addition to having um, competition from uh, a, a cer- certain country that starts with a C, ends with an A, has five letters in it. Um, we've also got all these people in mining that have just got so much disposable income, so we're competing yeah. against them at ADs too. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, I, I, I kid, I kid you not, Tim. There are people that are getting paid one hundred and twenty-five thousand a year Australian, one hundred and fifty thousand Australian. What's what's that in US? Like hundred, hundred and twenty something like that. Yeah, so yeah. They're getting paid that much US a year to drive a truck into a wall in a mine site. No education needed, no degree, uh, no. Basically, almost, almost, yeah. Sounds I mean, like a socialist dream. Sounds like something I would, uh, it sounds kind of my kind of job, yeah. Because, you know, I'm not big into, look hmm. at this. In New York, we got such, such uh, fucking, uh, what's it called? It's like a degree inflation that to work at McDonald's soon, you're going to need a, a freaking uh, master's degree. <laughs> you know, it's it's ridiculous. And it's because New York, uh, you know, people in the U.S. Were, were kind of convinced that education is the answer. But it's not. Come on. Come on. And it's not even it's not even real education that, that we got here. It's all like for profit stuff. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. But so you're in you. So you move from Boston to Perth. Yeah. Tell me about it. Wow. How, what's so, how's the climate over there? I mean, Australia it should be freaking hot. Yeah, shite. Summer, forty four, forty six. <sighs> Some parts it's over fifty Celsius. So Damn. I mean, yeah, th- throw 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 your Fahrenheit temperatures out the window. I mean, we're talking regularly in summer; it's regularly over a hundred Fahrenheit on a daily basis. Fucking hell! I mean, I hate it. I mean, I mean when I went back, when I went for back, someone at, uh, who likes into 2019, whiskey, I loved it, dude. For someone who likes whiskey, that's not the perfect environment to no. be drinking whiskey. <laughs> you know, I can imagine. 
drinking whiskey on this kind of day in New York, man. That's not that's not and because you mentioned that you don't you don't like well, beer. You're not a beer guy. You're nah, not it's, a it's, nah. It's just it's not the same. Yeah. No, nah, it doesn't go with my palate. Yes, it doesn't have that smokiness. The smokiness. Mm. Oh, but ha- having 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 said that, I tried the uh, the Lagavulin sixteen again. Mm. Um, O'Sheen's O'Sheen's go to thing after Redbreast. Yes, I tried it uh, again after not having a Talisker first. Mm. Uh, I mean, I've I've found one good use for it, throwing in fish and chip batter. But I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, all it tastes like is licorice. Uh, Licorice and an ashtray. Wow. I mean, wow. Yeah, that, that's that stuff. It's like a, an Australian bushfire. Damn, dude. So you know, because I, I am actually kind. Of, I do like whiskeys. I, I don't have the money to buy it, but uh, I. That's why for me, it's really dangerous to go out and just buy anything. So, but. Uh, you said that you're going to try to write some articles for me for the website about mm. whiskeys. And uh, we, I need like a, a shopping guide, like a couple of like the Holy Trinity, like the good stuff that, you know, that I that I can that I can get that would not be a total rip off and waste. Well, t- tell you what, what I'll do. In, in, oh, in, you cut I'll out. Do, couple of articles per month but at the end of it i'll have a summary like a uh so, so sort of like a, a a punters uh what one mm-hmm. for the punters one for one for the the long-term flippers mm-hmm. or the uh the gentlemen okay um and one for sort of a- everyday drinking so like for, for example like the one, one for a punter that wants something that's going to last a long time the talisker dark storm yeah the only problem with getting that at the moment it was yeah. designed as a travel exclusive, so duty free. I'm going to be going to Barcelona it. right now. There you go. I mean, tell can I get? Is that storm. something I can buy on the plane? Possibly. <sighs> so, Talisca Dark Storm. So you get a liter, not 700 mil or 70 cc, whatever. Yes. That's semantics. So you get a get a liter, and it's about one and a half times the cost of say. Talisker 10 for the Talisker 10 flavors, not all of them, yeah. but you get a liter, so it'll last a lot longer. And because oh, you're they out. make it in the extra charred casks, you get more wood sugars, more vanilla. Um, you, you get you get all the good things. So I mean, for you, what I'd I'd start with in terms of Talisker, I started with Talisker Sky. Um, don't start with that, Tim. Please. Wh- which um, one? Which one do I get on the you? airplane? The dark storm, you said, but uh, not drink it. Don't drink yeah, it, right? Dark... Get it, but don't drink it. Or, or wh- don't which drink one? Drink it straight away. Okay. Enjoy it. String it out. Okay. Treasure it. Okay, so so um, on the plane, or on the way to or from Barcelona, I have to pick up dark storm, right? Try and get dark storm if you can. It's a it's a good value for money, good entry level um, okay. introduction to Talisca, something that will really develop your love for the brand. But having said that, if for any reason there was an Aaron 18 or Aaron 21 that you walked past that was available to purchase, um, drop whatever you're doing. Um, don't, don't offer them your panda, but <laughs> short of that, buy it. Seriously, if you can get your hands on an Aaron A-R-R-A-N, Aaron 18 or Aaron 21. Eight. Okay, I need to write this down. You know that? Uh, can you yeah. can you type this up in the yeah. in the I'll, private uh, chat or you. into the yeah. comments? And I'm going to bring yeah. in the captain and Lolix. Ooh, Hello? The, the, cap- the captain's captain, got look a at this. story. Damn, the captain, captain looks like a captain. player. <laughs> the captain's got a good story on uh, McAllen, doesn't he? And casks. Yes, and we have Lolex. What the fuck hey, is man. up, guys? What's hey, up? Man. What's we up, missed man? you. What's going on, everybody? Long time no seeing. Back from the fucking dead. What is up? <laughs> <laughs> what is up? <laughs> oh, my God. You cannot kill me, guys. All right? Uh, Just came mm. back from the grave. What is up? Hey. What's up? We were talking a little bit about uh, whiskeys, and uh, Perth was telling me because I'm going to be going to Barcelona on Wednesday. 
Nice. Very cool. Yeah. The, the only problem is that my I was buying tickets with my wife today for like some sh like not not shows but like museums and stuff yeah just like the really touristy things to do okay and i kind of pissed her off a little bit uh i said like uh, this is the boring stuff when, when we're gonna do the fun stuff <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> so you uh, I would, uh... for you I'm doing all of this for you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would, I would, I, I would recommend, I would recommend the uh, the Guggenheim in. Uh, I think it's in Bilbao, Tim. If you, if you can go to the Guggenheim, the engineering into that building alone is astounding. The Guggenheim in Barcelona. Wait, in Barcelona or that's nearby? I think it's in a city called Bilbao. Bilbao. That's it. It's in Spain, but the the Guggenheim Museum. Uh -huh. I mean, even even if you aren't interested necessarily in the contents, mm -hmm. the building itself should. Um, if you have any appreciation for engineering, mm. very very interesting, very um, nice place to spend some time. Cool, cool. I wrote it down. We'll see if I'm gonna. We'll, we'll see how much time I'm gonna have. Where we're gonna stop by. I'm I'm taking down all all these notes, so, Captain. Wait. You're going to Barcelona tomorrow. Are you going to keep streaming or like it's a break? I'm going to try to do streams. I'm going to try to do streams for, from the iPad. I don't know how uh, mm -hmm. how it's going to look because it's a little bit more complicated to do over from the iPad. But I think I think we should be able to. Maybe I'll do a stream tomorrow from the iPad. We'll see how that works out. Okay. Nice. I should have a good internet, but I just I don't know what time is going to be over there. Mm -hmm. when uh when i'm streaming you know what i mean well well tim tim they're gonna be what minus one or plus one gmt so mm. you, you've you've got GM, gmt don't you or is it or is it what one hole in the box no that's the freaking uh question uh what uh what am i gonna what am i gonna bring right you gotta bring the explorer that's for sure Ooh! Gotta take the explore. Look at this hist one three seven eight ten dollar meteorite dial fund. Whoa, wait a minute, Tim. Are you getting a meteorite dial? Are you really getting a meteorite dial? I, I mean, I don't know if it's real, okay. but if I can, I would do it. I aren't would crawl those, through glass. Aren't those as hard to get as the Daytona? No, the no, 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 no. They're no. harder. No. Wait, wait, are we, are we talking? Are we talking meteorite dial Pepsi, or are we talking meteorite dial Daytona, or meteorite dial Daytona Swap? No, no, no. Pepsi. No, 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 guys. Someone I forgot who on the previous show said that it's confirmed. A, you can take you can take your Daytona. Oh, oh it was you. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, now it's, it's confirmed. I was in my AD with somebody that actually got it promised and signed off on it. Now can. Can they switch my dial for the meteorite dial? You would do that? Yeah. That that's my that's my question exactly, Lolex. Tim, would, would you, you do, do that? that? I would fucking do it, yes. Are you psycho? Dude. You know what awesome. the thing is? <laughs> it's it's still don't, white don't, dial. Don't tell JJ. Don't tell JJ. <laughs> it's still oh, guys. Exactly, dude. <laughs> that's like sacrilege. No, 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 guys. It's still a white dial. On the, the yeah. meteorite dial is still white. Yeah, because the meteorite is still white. Is it a film they put over it? I, no, no. Look, I, I'll no, bring no. it up. It's, I, it's, I it's have. an actual proper proper dial that's it's actually cool. You're uh, doing like carved from the meteorite. Redial, yeah. If they let you keep yeah. white dial, I guess. No, 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 no. no. That's confirmed. No way, it's, yeah. it's confirmed. Confirmed. I saw it in ink. Yeah. Um, it actually, one of the T's and C's says, uh -uh, you don't get to keep your original Absolutely. dial. We keep that. Take yeah, I don't even it. want my old white dial. I'll take the meteorite dial in the heartbeat, guys. I'll switch it. I'll switch yeah. it for the meteorite because you guys know I fucking love the meteorite. Yeah, I've heard you talk about it before, but I still. I the problem I have with the meteorite. the problem I have with the meteorite Daytona, the yeah. meteorite, it doesn't look like it's the same shade of sort of cream on the meteorite. If you look at the meteorite dial Pepsi. Look at the meteorite. The meteorite, yeah. meteorite dial Daytona. If you put the um, meteorite dials from both those watches side by side, it the Pepsi one looks creamier than the Daytona one. 
Here's okay. why I say don't do it. Tim. I mean, it could be a, just a picture. It, it, it could be just a picture. Here's why I'm saying don't do it because stainless steel Daytonas they don't come with meteorite dials, right? They don't. You can't. Buy that. You you have that's an aftermarket thing. So you're. I would right. with you. Just keep your Daytona. Yeah. Is. Exactly. You. I mean, you've got you've got the hottest hottest toy on the planet, and you you want to do what to it? I mean. Even, I want to put even, a even, meteorite even, dial in that baby. Even even crime piece wouldn't think it's funny. It's not about fun. It's about doing what's fucking amazing. See, I didn't have the money for the two tone, but this thing, I hopefully. Now let me sh let me show you this, guys. Danger will Robin says Tim Dolce and Gabbana Intenso was a disaster. Yeah, that's why I kind of uh, I said like. I just want to say. Oh, yeah, on. yeah, no, intent. The Dolce and Gabbana Intenso is not the one to get. Um, but but like I understand when when he when he took a picture of the wall of fragrances, uh, the the previous time, there was nothing except the uh, Armani code uh, Armani code that was that was good in some fashion, but yeah. But yeah, it's really powerful out of the bottle. So you spray it, it, it's really strong, but then it doesn't last. That's that's how they scam you. That's the sca kind of uh, a fragrance scam system. Disappears as fast as a bucket of KFC chicken <laughs> at Archie's house. <laughs> Gave it away. Yeah, man. Hey, listen, look, listen. I'll uh, let's don't don't do that ever again. Like. Don't buy a fragrance without consulting me first. Okay? Should I not buy Polo Green again? I mean, no. I mean, we we, we, we have a, we have a we have the fragrance Pontiff for a reason. That's right. That's Dude, right. I love green. That shit smells so good. No, I love it. no. no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Low looks. Just get a little small one. They're like twenty bucks. You want to get one of those? No. Don't even. I'm sorry. Don't even do it. No. No, uh -huh. no. Don't don't buy it ever again, please. Just. It, it, I mean, amazing. I mean the 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 equivalent in my world would be like getting a Macallan Edition Two, and like um, splitting the bottle up in, into samplers. Are you Perth. nuts? Perth, let me ask you something. For Macallan Twelve, you have the single barrel, which is the sherry oak, and then you have the double right. cast. Right? Is the double yeah. cast like the the worst out of the two of them? No, and I'll tell you why. Um, the captain, the captain knows why, um, because what are they doing with the, their sherry cask influence things at the moment now? As the captain found out to his horror the other day, where he realised that he'd been fleeced, they're now doing mm. seasoned sherry casks, not matured sherry casks. What's the difference? So mm. with a seasoned sherry cask, is they put sherry in it for how, however long, just a bit of um, sherry that's already done just to give the barrel a sort of like um, a sherry flavour. They okay. haven't actually matured sherry from start to finish in the barrel. Think of it as maple-flavoured syrup versus the authentic stuff out of a tree. I mean, it, it, it's... Ba I mean, For the Macallan, double is still, Mac Macallan is still good. I would buy the double cask. Why? Oh, okay. Um, because, you're, because, you're not, you know, yeah, because you're not getting yeah. burned with, with the sherry stuff. Like, I'll tell you the captain's story. So the poor, poor guy um, bought, um, what was it, 15 or 18? He'll, he'll correct me. I know he will. He's a gentleman. Um, <laughs> he um, bought to what he uh, bought what he thought based on what he was told was was either a 15 or an 18 Macallan where he was told and guaranteed that it was done in matured sherry casks. Mm. He, and then he showed us the, uh, the package the other day. And what did it say? Season sherry cask. Let me go get mine's right here. I gotta see it. Hold on. Uh, just to answer really quickly Matthew Egan's question, uh, should I buy more Giorgio Armani cologne? Oh, it says no, no, don't buy any more Giorgio Armani cologne. It says right there, matured exclusively in hand picked sherry seasoned oak cast. Season. <laughs> That's not. You want the actual extract. Yeah, yes. but, but it, here's here's the problem. It's like um, it's like Glendronic whiskey at the moment. What they've done, um, the guys work all good. Um, so the well, yeah, anyway, he'll so come back. He'll what, come back. Yeah. What, so what, what, we'll go on to something else. And yeah, we'll, we'll I'll just it. answer. What, what look, we're talking about the Armani, 
This is the Armani that everybody should have. That's the Aqua Di Gio Profumo. This is every every collector, every fragrance head should. Wait, why did I? Wait, that's not a here. Oh, oh that's, whoa, whoa. that's not. The oh, oh, there we that's go. That's lovely. Let's take that off. Here we go. Ooh, nice. Aqua Di Gio Profumo. That's the that's the Armani. This is like their really good for summer. Oh, or Armani Code. Armani Code Polonia, Armani Code uh, Absolute, but those are different. They're more winterish. These are more uh, summerish. This is this thing is so cool. It smells like incense and salt and sweat. It smells like you have been at the gym for uh, for like five hours, and then you took a shower in the ocean, and it's like they get they take it's a picture of you. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> so like you worked out, then you went to the beach. Yes, you worked out. <laughs> then you go to the beach, you jump into the ocean, and then you come out of the ocean, and the the waves behind you are crashing, and you're like, you just look badass. That's that's what this smells like. It's whoo, fantastic. I need to go cologne shopping. I just have the um, Chanel, and this thing lasts oh. forever. Yeah, try it out, guys. Try it out. Aqua di Gio Profumo. Oh, uh, and Reinhardt says Aqua di Gio Profumo is my, miles better. Now, what, what did he say? Aqua di Gio Profumo, best flanker in line. Uh, I had the OG, the original uh, Aqua di Gio back in the day, but give, it to, but give it to my brother. Yeah, so Aqua di Gio, there, there's like a few versions of this. There's like one with the clear bottle. That's not the Profumo. Now there is also Profundo. It's like the blue interpretation of this. But I still think this is the most unique out of all the flankers. It just smells like anything else. It's There's nothing uh, There's nothing on the market that smells this good. Oh, and we got the captain back. Captain is back. Ooh, there we go. There we go. I was having technical yeah. difficulties. Yeah. Sorry, boys. Bit, bit bigger. I mean, that, that 18 year old that the captain has is still beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So as as you can see, there, it says that it's. Let's see. Mm, Let me take this off. Sherry okay. infused. Okay. Can see it. Yeah. If you uh, if you can get one of the screen. one of the old one of the old bottles mm -hmm. where it's not where it's not a season cask, um, the price <laughs> drank it. Your your oh, mine your season. Bottle, Damn it. Yeah. Mine is yeah, season. Your, yeah. Your bo your bottles, guys, will be about. Uh, maybe one and a half, two times. Damn, like, fuck this. If, um, but if you have one of the um, matured sherry cask bottles, mm -hmm. four to five, four to five times retail is what you can expect on the gr on the grey market. Easy, four you to know, five times. That's so crazy, man. Because my place actually, they were going to sell me the sherry. Hundred percent hist. Hundred percent hist. Look, hist. Ten percent agree with you. Let me read this one. Let, uh, hist one three seven eight five dollars super chat. Perth, what do you think of the quality of Macallan eighteen these days? I feel like my old bottles from ten years ago have more oomph. Hundred percent because I'll, I'll I'll give you a bit of a uh, bit of a, an exclusive here. Can so... I can I uh, can I try to uh, answer something? Can like this thing? What my theory of why they made this change? Or Perth. And then you tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm right or am I right? Okay, so here we go. Now, Macallan, you go 10 years ago, they weren't as mainstream as they are today. Now, when you have these matured casks, right? There it's matured cask, they can mature differently. You can't really control maturity of the cask. So when you uh, when you make the whiskey out of them, it's you know each one might be very different from the other one. Whereas when you season them, you have like full control. So in my in my opinion, as their brand name started going up and more becoming more uh, mainstream, they try to control more uh, the quality. They have they try to make that to make sure that each bottle tastes the same. So in order to do that, now this is my, this is just I'm I'm just thinking. Uh, in terms of like what, this is just my guess. 
But right. I'll uh, I'll give you a bit. Give you you you're on some of the right track here, Tim. Mm-hmm. So one of the reasons why they'd switch to uh, seasons uh, casks as opposed to the genuine McCoy. Yes. Um. So with season casks, you can generate them quicker. So McCallum has seen a recent boom being fueled um, in part by uh, European, mainly Scottish flippers, mm. and also the Chinese. There is a huge demand, Hong Kong, Macau, and the really uh, wealthy parts of uh, China. There's a huge demand for um, Macallan, especially mm-hmm. the really good stuff. Mm. So Macallan, the distillery, seeing that has gone, we need to keep up with um, keep production up with demand because otherwise we fear losing customers to, say, Isle of Arran, Glendronic, um, Glenfiddich. All those, all those other distilleries. Anyway, getting back to back to the topic, mm-hmm. the reason why they'd switch is because they can churn them out quicker. It's not, it's not right. a, um, so much a quality thing that you alluded to, because mm-hmm. trust me, yeah. if you're purely interested about quanti- uh, quality, yeah, you're going to use the real McCoy, even if right. it takes longer. Oh no, no, I, I wasn't, I wasn't so much saying that. Uh, I, not, not like it's better quality. I'm just saying, kind of, you can make a more uniform product true true it's, true. it's kind you, of why you can, you can why make more uni- uniform johnny product. walker yeah, is so popular right because every bottle tastes the same because they can because it's blended they can have they can have full control over the taste it's also why for example if you put it to um, remove the labels off the bottle of a talisker 10 mm. and put it next to say a talisker 18 yeah. or you pour them into a glass Mm-hmm. Uh, or even a Talisker 25, they're going to look the same. Why? Because this, from a consistency approach, which you kind of alluded to, Tim, they put mm. um, the dreaded E150 caramel colouring. That's something that McCallum don't do. Um, ah. But having said that, Talisker don't with their special release. They don't put colouring in it. So, I mean, trust me, any any 10-year-old that comes out of a barrel and it looks sort of like an amber dark uh, to, to a darker um, orange, that's, it's got to be coloured. I'm sorry, but anything, a 10-year-old, if it comes out, it should be um, yellowish. I wouldn't say a clearish, almost a clearish. I'd say yellowish. Maybe a little bit um, darker, but this this business of things coming out dark orange for 10 years old and then saying there's no colouring, nah. Mm. But, but, but any, gotcha. anyway. Perth, Perth, can you, so you, I saw you, you, you texted me on the, what mm. on the discord and can you add also which ones should i try to buy on the airplane which whiskeys, okay uh, which ones should i look out for and which ones like must have and which ones are like hey it's okay yeah because happy, happy to yeah and we'll talk we'll talk about the art we'll talk about the art guys also mm. uh, i'm gonna do a little uh a fun fundraiser for this P- artwork captain by the way captain Thank you for the massive, massive contributions to the artwork, man. This is gonna be so cool. Just, just for everyone, uh, I'm just gonna say we are working on the amazing, amazing art piece. Lowell is gonna be in there. The captain's gonna be in there. Yep. Here, one of those uh, fundraising, Tim. I'll have a laugh time. Ah, uh, no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's for it's for incredible piece of art. And uh, uh, people, if you if somebody wants to. Uh, a little bit of themselves, like some kind of trinket, some kind of Easter egg, uh, to to be snuck in, uh, you know, that that would say that this is you. For example, like if uh, let's say if Toyota Mo wants us to put in a, a LV box in there, uh, PayPal me ten bucks. Oh no, no, actually, LV box, LV box is gonna be in there. But it, basically, if you guys want to sneak something into the artwork. Uh, PayPal me ten dollars. It, it has to be small, something not too big, and I'll I'll sneak it in because we we need to we need to raise some some money to to fund this this piece. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be so, incredible. Ah, let's see it, Perth. Perth, let's see it. Let's so see what this you... so this is a proper eight year old. Oh wow. Oh yeah. See how okay. see how clear that looks almost. Yep, it looks like uh, wow. It looks like P. Be- yeah, because <laughs> it's, it's dehydrated not, piss. Someone that has dehydrated water. Piss. Wow. Yes. Because so that's a proper eight-year-old. It's uh-huh. one that they finally haven't 
put rotten E150 in. Ah. Um, it's because it's one of the special release, so it's also at fifty seven point nine ABV. So, yeah. in, in the short story, if you don't yeah. dilute it with water, you could end up in the ER having your stomach lining burned. Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Why? Serious? If because it's it's what they call a cask strength. Oh. So anything that's 50 percent or higher means it's straight out of the cask. It's not diluted. So that stuff. Just so like you get twice, you got, you, twice the you, the whiskey, right? Because uh, you dilute they, it with, with water it. a little correct, bit, right? Correct. That. Ooh, so it's like so, seven oh, oh, seven hundred and fifty mil not is almost much. like getting a liter and a half. So yes. So what what we measure in Australia is called the standard drink. Uh-huh. Um, so the standard drinks are considerably higher in a bottle like this <sighs> because it, it's it's alcohol content. But I mean. Yeah, I mean, some people, I mean, like Scotsmen, of course, they, they can probably do it without water, but the flavours are just so much uh, so much better with the water. Um, mm. So, I mean, they, they, fi- they, fin- they finish this Talisker. So Talisker, of course, it's usually a, a burning Mike Tyson uppercut to the stomach or the jaw or something o- over time. But this one they finished in the Jamaican rum cask. So you add the water and it gets sweeter. Mm. Wow. But How much water anyway, would you put in there, Perth, in the actual uh, whiskey? Um, eight to 16 mil in uh, probably a half dram. Half dram, I'd add eight to 16 mil of water. Perf, perf. See, one of the articles that you need to write is, you know how you said, don't buy this one until you try this one. There's like a, there's steps mm. that people need to take in order to properly enjoy these whiskeys. And I, I I need something like this, like 101, Done. one like whiskey talisker, uh, 101. You start with this one, then you move on to this one, and then that one, and then you can really appreciate. It. And if we need to mix it with water, you you you, you let us know how much, because I want to get that's the, a big the personal preference, preference thing. Oh, what I'll do, Tim, is I'll write sort of like a double barreled article. I'll write the uh. The main one with uh, neat, yeah. So without water, and then I'll also add in a sub bit at the bottom um, experiences with water and my personal preference at the end of the day. Wow! Yeah, look at this. Ari has a question for us. What do you think of Abalur Abunda? Uh, I have this cask strength sherry bomb, and it's fantastic with the right amount of water. Couldn't agree more. Wow. Couldn't huh. agree more. But, I mean, look. Uh, Captain and Lolex, they got the Macalan. Okay. They didn't get the, you know, the way they used to make the Macalan. But I still think that the, the, those whiskeys are still fucking amazing. Mm, it's no, the story is even worse than, than, I'm not even sure. Perth. No, I don't know if I've shared this with Perth. I think I had the Sherry Cask 15, and I decided to go straight to the 18. You know, I said, let me, let me return the 15. I've had the 15 before. Mm. And then I returned it for the 18. And then I went into the liquor store, and they said, you know that 15 that you returned? They're now keeping it because of what Perth said in terms of the um, Sherry Cask, because that was Sherry Cask. And then they switched it to Sherry Infused. And I'm like, oh, uh, I, I no. going up market and getting like a special 18, which cost me more money. And it turns out I gave up a 15 sherry cask. Yeah, exactly. And uh, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't retrade. It was already done. So mm, they're, it's, they've it's, been good to like, me. But, you know, I got those Japanese uh, Yamazaki's, so I'm happy with them. They I haven't even opened the 18 yet. You win some, you lose some, right? Hey, you got to play the game. You know, yeah. it's all good. Speaking of playing games, mm. uh, Lolex <laughs> has got oh. a crazy Rolex game uh, adventure story. <laughs> and this ID guy, games? he hasn't been wasting time. He has been uh, talking to ADs back and forth. He, he almost got a Rolex, but then... Because of his respect for the brand, he actually withheld 
check this out. Lolix, can you can you tell me can you tell what? us a little bit I'll about start from the beginning, boys? Yeah. So over Memorial Day weekend, I was like just out. I drove down to San Diego and I was just like with my friends and stuff like that. And one of my buddies who I went to high school with was there and he got the new Oyster Perpetual 41. He got the black dial. So I got to mess around with it. I had my, I had my sub with me. So we were just kind of like comparing the two and I had a 39 before my first Rolex was an Oyster Perpetual 39. I was like, man, this new one is so nice. Like it's a little bit bigger, but it just like has better wrist presence. It felt thicker too. I could be wrong. Um, but it just wears so well. And I loved all the brush steel on it. The 41 OP. The 41 OP. Yeah. How was the dial? And so like, it's a sunburst black. Sunburst it's black. Not- How did those indices? Did it, did, did the, because right. a lot of people say, oh, there's just too much space. But no, it's perfect. The double, the double batons, I think, actually make the dial nicer because I had the single baton. What's up, Burb? What's up, I, had, I had the one, the 39, where it was just all singles and it felt plain. Yeah. I don't know why. It yeah. Just, it felt plain. And yeah, this yeah. With the double batons, it literally makes it feel more premium. You're looking I at I freaking this. love those double batons. It's it's so nice. I can't explain it. It's so nice. I love this the new size of it too. So mm. that happens, right? I'm um I'm just I think it's like less than a week later, somewhere around a week. So I uh I'm just hanging out at home and my AD calls me. This is the AD where uh the guy who I purchased all my watches through, he left. He stopped working there. He just like quit all of a sudden. So that AD has been Sounds like, like mine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, I talked to the manager. I went in there. I made like a total hissy fit. I went full Karen on them. I was like, <laughs> I just spent money here. <laughs> oh, Jerry, you does not even call me. No one tells me. I so they your manager. Me. <laughs> oh, I spoke to the manager, Burp. <laughs> I spoke to the manager. Oh. So they call me uh, and they say, hey, we have some Oyster Perpetuals in if you want to come and take a look at them. I had handled them before, but I wasn't – like when I got my Submariner, they called me. I paid over the phone, and I just went down there and picked it up. Yeah. I wasn't sold on buying one just yet. I wanted to go take a look at them. So when I went down there, the only one they had left was was a yellow dial Oyster Perpetual 41. So wow. like, I got to play with it. I got to like look at it. It felt a little feminine to me. Like I was like – The mustard. Like, this looks like a chip watch kind of. But like yeah. it was nice. So like I was just talking to my AD – I was telling him, like, listen, I do like this watch. I like the 41. I think it's a cool watch, but I got to be honest with you. I don't think I would want this yellow dot because in reality, I would buy it, what I'd sell it, make a little money, but probably make some cool videos on it. But I was just like, that sucks. You know, someone out there probably really wants the watch and I'm just going to be Let me that bring guy. it up right here because Barry BKT, yeah. he actually, he's got one of these. Yeah, it's just not, it's cool. It's a nice watch for sure. If that's what you're into. So, mm, you know, the, the really cool thing that I really like about this one, uh, that yellow. And, you know, you have a Porsche, but you don't have the yellow Porsche. I and Porsche. I mean, I know. I, like, it, it, I just it, don't like it, yellow. I don't like you yellow. You don't like yellow. I don't like yellow. It's not. Yeah, because if I were to be buying a Porsche, like ever, I would have to get it in yellow. And then I would think you guys this would be so good. It would look good with an inverted bob haircut. If you get like an inverted <laughs> bob haircut wig to go like full Karen, this is the perfect way for you. Let me talk to your manager. I'd, I'd get a honeycomb. Ooh. Yeah. I'd get a honeycomb. Is I'll, that I'll yellow? Say this. I'll, I'll say yellow. yellow. Close to yellow. Yellows like this don't look good on my skin tone. So like mm. for that reason, mm. like I, I just yeah. can't wear them. Mm. That reason, I'm out. Um, mm. No, so I just I talked to the uh, like Shark Tank. I, talked to him and I told them I was like, "Hey, listen, you know this isn't. It's really cool, but it's just like not for me." I was like, "I got to be honest with you. I would love. I would love a green dial if you guys have it." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they were like, "If it good, comes, good, up, yeah, you know, good, good, because good, your Porsche good luck, is good luck getting the- getting one of those. They're nearly as hard to get as a Hulk." No, for sure, Perth, for sure. Like she, they told me they were like, "Yeah, it's a high demand one." I was like, "Actually, yeah, this this is a great. I got to tell you, for summer, I would do it." The yeah. premium, the premium on like the turquoise one, is oh, that's insane. ridiculous! Absolutely, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. It it's, a, it's absurd. Absolutely but they absurd. told me they did tell me they were like the black. We haven't been getting a lot of orders for the black. Like people aren't coming in and ordering the black OP forty one. That's yeah. what they told what? me. Yeah, I can say it'd be just kind of boring. Like I think I mean the, people are buying them. They're going for the tort, uh, the Tiffany. They're going for the green. They're going for yeah. the blue one too. Apparently. 
but the black they're not getting a lot of orders for. And I was like, mm. hey, if one one of those comes in, let me know. So, wow. I mean, look, I I actually I do really appreciate the way you go about this because uh, you're not get like obviously this is uh, a flipper's dream to be offered something like this because it goes for a massive premium. But look, fuck that shit. Flipping, I I do not like. Flipping and flippers. So I mean, I could, telling... nice little, I could have made a nice little profit on this. That's for sure. Dude, but, well, I, I, but I then you're gonna get caught and no. never gonna be able to buy another Rolex again. And it just, it just never, never I mean, look, works look, out. Look what happened. Look what happened to James. Showcase. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He turned bitter for. Like, think about it. It ruined his like. Mm. Yeah. It, I mean, what, what, what happened to him? What did, I, he I got caught that. flipping yeah. a Batman. He, he got, yeah, he got, he got blacklisted. <laughs> but he's yeah. in the UK. That's a different flipping. market. The UK is a, a really strict market over there. In Singapore, they might hang you for that. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Is that politically incorrect? Because, <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. I mean, we'll see. But I got to be honest with you. Like, just just messing around with the black or just the o Oyster Perpetual 41 in general. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think it's a really nice watch. How does it? How does the black one? Do you okay. think I like compare them. to the Explorer one? Because you had the Explorer I one. Like, I, I like the black one way better than the Explorer one. Was sure. it the dial? Because the yeah. dial on the Explorer, the crown, the it has the big crown on the top of the dial, and then it's a sunburst dial. So when yeah. you're in the sun and you're holding it, yeah, like, this looks it's so playful. cool. It's like it's like a Datejust forty one, but with yeah. bright steel, which in my yeah. opinion, like. The best thing you could ask for. I hate, I hate all that that polished centered links on the on the Datejust Forty One. Ah, uh, so just all brushed steel, and it's like the perfect, especially for my wrist too. I don't have big yeah. wrists. I just think it sits so well. It's like a really thin uh, mm. in, in terms of like diameter size. Mm. Yeah, it's so it's a really cool watch. Very, I very understated for sure. Yeah. On, on that note, on that note of polished center links, Lolex. Yeah. What do you think of the the oyster bracelet with the polished and center links that's available for the the GMT now? Oh really? I didn't even. Oh yeah, they, they've always had that though, haven't they? Weren't they always? No, polished? that that's well, uh, well they they only just debuted the the oyster for the Pepsi and Batman two point just this oh, yeah. year, and the, yeah. the the center links are polished. I think. I don't. Do, I, do, you think, cool. do you think it's okay? I mean, it's cool. You can't tell if you're looking at it from like a few feet away. You'll you'll know there's scratches, but you can't see it from like a distance. Mm. You have to be holding the watch and looking at it up close to see all those scratches. So, mm. but I mean, some people like it. I'm not I'm not a real big fan of the, the polished center leaks, to be honest with you. Let's go around the panel. Uh, if you had an opportunity to get one oyster perpetual, which color would you go? And I want people in the chat to also type in what what would what would they go for? A 41, first of all, 36. 41 or 36 and which color and so lolix you said the black one or green or green I, I get one i get green for sure the green because you got the tinge of green it looks so cool in my opinion <sighs> let's yeah. start with bourbon heart and you're you ready what kind I, of i know what bourbon choose i have 36 30, 36 millimeter turquoise 36. turquoise oh right. turquoise Probably. Would, get blue. would it be for okay. you or to share with the wife i would i would share it with the wife you get wow. You want to get the 41? Uh, no, oh. yeah, I would definitely do 36 for just because everything else I have is I, I don't have anything that small. Um, mm, and nice. the bright color, it would be like strictly like a summertime watch. Like nice. I don't know. Okay. The, the blue, the blue looks really good though. But I have I have al I already have like so many blues. I think uh -huh. the blue is pretty similar to the Grand Seiko. Mm. And so <sighs> I'm yes. so big on. It, it, it. I think a 41 blue would look so cool on you, yeah. So here's here's the thing, like, and I don't know if you guys are this way too, but sometimes, like, I won't get in a line of watches. I really consider how it balances out the collection, almost more than the individual piece itself. Yeah, like you, I, you think I about the collection as a whole. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. and so. I don't have anything that's like really loud. I have plenty of plenty of blue watches though, um, so it would probably prevent me from 
I'm just going with the blue, uh, even though that's the one I would probably like the most. But just in light of the collection, I'd maybe do the turquoise. Pretty cool. Ooh, Logan Hall, thank you for the donation towards the LV box. Uh, what well, LV box? What I'm saying, not LV box. Towards towards the image, towards the image. And your request, I'll see how we can do that. I think it's not going to be too difficult. We'll see. We'll see. So you're you're uh, funding the image and the space panda. So swap. we're. <laughs> well, I don't know. I haven't confirmed time? the space panda thing. I'm gonna go to my AD when I come back <laughs> from Barcelona after my uh, after getting robbed and mugged. I'm gonna. I mean, there's gonna be stories to tell. Dude, what are you wearing? Dude, what are you wearing there? Don't what should wear, I wear? But, okay, okay. We, dude, we, that's no. gonna be the next. Let, let's see. Let's see. Let's yeah, let's go towards. Yeah. Let's go around and then we'll go to which watch I should wear. To get totally mugged in Barcelona, <laughs> uh, Captain. Now, what, 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 which OP would you go for, and why? Right. And why? Okay, so it has to be in the context of the collection, right? Mm. Because if it was a, it's going to be forty-one because of my fat, my fat ass wrist. <laughs> nah. A thirty-six doesn't work, but it would be cool. It would be cool, but it would be a little tiny, a little tiny. Maybe. So, I think forty-one would be perfect. If I didn't have any watches, then of course I think the black or the blue would be the choice. But I do, right? I have a lot of black dials. I'm I'm looking for variation. So I would look at it as a summer piece dial variation. And I gotta tell you, because of Lolex, hmm. that it's gonna be, I would say the yellow. Is that a yellow or an orange or whatever? Uh, that's a yellow. Yeah. That's yellow. I they're red yellow. almost their red almost looks orange though. If you yeah, look the at the right, right. Red, very cool. bright. Uh, yeah, no, the red would be coral. a little yeah, coral exactly. red coral. would be a little too bright, a little too loud. Uh, I think this would be a great summer watch. Um, the turquoise would be I guess second, but you know, I have a feeling that once you start if you wear the turquoise is really cool. But you may not love it after a few wears. You know, you might be like, I got this turquoise watch. It's nice. Mm -hmm. But how much are you going to wear it? I mean, I love blue. I love yeah. baby blue. Not every but day. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, yeah. I mean, what's, I don't know what's, how much what's the point? It. What's the point? If, what's the point of owning it? Owning it if you keep it in the bank half the time or you're afraid to wear it? Yeah. Or if you're not going to wear it. It's not yeah, afraid. Not yeah, not afraid. It's just more of a. It's not like you're just gonna like put it on and take it to Barcelona like a fool. Barcelona. But, <laughs> yeah, the real the real answer is don't take any watches to Barcelona, Tim. You go watch list to that. Don't take a Rolex to Barcelona. Yeah, day day two, someone's someone's gonna jump off if of you, the, the back yeah. of their the back of a moped and just like snatch yeah. it right. Plus, if you get a colorful dial like coral red or yellow, I mean that thing flashes steal me you know it's yeah. like gotcha bitch <laughs> exactly exactly it's not that no it, this is a flat yellow by the way guys it's not a i love it i absolutely yellow. love it and i, ha I i'm kind of blown away that i love it as much I, I really like this piece because i think if you have a bunch of watches right and it's yeah. in the rotation mm. you could just get this and flick it anywhere you know like mm -hmm. throw it in a weekend bag i'll throw it in my gym bag or whatever mm. um I'd feel pretty confident. This is a solid piece that yeah. you could pretty much do anything with it. I think it's, is it a 150 uh, meter uh, water resistant or a hundred? Oh, well, it's I mean, 100. That's the standard, but I mean, it's probably more water resistant than that. But it, it's, yeah, Rolex all 100. 100 is real 100, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. They say 100. They're not talking about like, you know, a Nautilus where yeah. you know, <laughs> you're going to an ocean, a pool with that, you're fighting. <laughs> But you know what? You know what though? Like, what's interesting about this release, right? When mm. Rolex released this line of Stella dials, this was not to be like you're the first watch in your collection or even a one and done. Like, this is like targeting people that already have like one or two Rolexes and was like, okay, now you're ready for something like louder, something like to you supplement the collection. Yeah, which is probably why the black one isn't selling that much. Right. I thought because these were kids. Like, these were for the younger generation. Like. Cool. Well, like for, 20s. That's what I thought this watch for, for someone like LeBron's kids who are, you know, oppressed. <laughs> yeah. They'll yeah. wear these, but um, I, I was I, thinking like this is a watch. This is a watch that 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 Rolex can sell a whole set of. Actually, I on in the Instagram I saw someone 
uh, it was actually some girl. She was saying that thank you to this other collector who had, like, she was holding all five colors or something like that. Oh, like five colors. No. Like, she, she was saying, gems. thank you to this guy, to this other Instagrammer for letting me take the picture like this, holding holding all of these OPs. So I was thinking like, it's just kind of a marketing, marketing wise, it's kind of genius because think about it. Most people, they will get either a, like a pan, like they will either get like one, one sub, not all five, you know, they will not get a two-tone bluesy, a two-tone black, a gold, a gold bluesy, uh, right? Because like, it's, it's too much, but these, you can kind of strive to get all marketing, marketing wise. But yeah. but also the cool thing about the, the because they're so colorful, and the fact that they don't have a date, nothing to fuck around with. They're basically you can put on like red sneakers, and then you can grab a red di coral dial. Or, the, or if you're wearing like yellow that day, then you can grab the yellow one. It can, you can really Another, max yeah. mix and match, Another and because no date. Obvious. Yeah, the no date, but the great thing about these two is the is the clasp on them. The mm. clasp it doesn't have the. It's not like there's no glide lock in it. It's just it's like thick. It's like a thin clasp. There's no thing that goes on on top of it, and there's the uh, link extension inside of it now. So mm. you open it up. It's it really is honestly a great daily watch. That's all I kept thinking when I was eating. Mm. I was like, man, if you have this in black, perfect. Willito one two one one five dollar super chat. I love the forty one millimeter silver op. You know, it's actually very underappreciated. Uh, let me. I thought that's like one of the hotter ones. The silver, the silver one. Silver one is hard to get. Yeah, the sh what? champagne doll. Yeah, the champagne doll is like one of the. Oh, I think it goes like Tiffany green. Tiffany and green are like the top spots. Like one eight champagne, and then the champagne's number two. Definitely. Yeah. With yellow gold right here. This yeah, one. yellow gold indices. Oh, wow. Oh, I can't believe it. But this is this is hard to get. Indices and crown. Head, uh, heading to my AD tomorrow for an update. Wish me luck, boys. Hey, we want to know what's the situation. Please, you know, let us know. Let us know. I'm fucking curious. Eight. And yeah, um, if, oh let's see. my god, man! I can I get a green one? That'd be so nuts. <laughs> Good luck, man. <laughs> I mean, sure. you deserve it. You know, uh, incorporate the, the knowledge that you learn on the show. Mm. Ooh, and Deacon, ten dollars super chat. Great show, Tim and company. Hey, hey. wowzers. Cheers to you, Deacon. That was weird. <laughs> By the oh, he <laughs> well, looks left, but uh, I can. Oh man, I need to add more more sounds to my soundboard. But I need I need like applause and all kinds. Of, wow, Deacon, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, man. Wow. Now Perth, Perth. Oh, actually, yeah. here's the thing. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the chats. Let's see what other what the chat said, and then mm. then you'll tell us which OP you like the most. And why? Okay, so you'll have some time to think about it. Uh, Jubilee Jubilee said, I can't even get black OP. <sighs> Man, Jubilee Jubilee, I know the struggle. I wish you were in New York because I, I was able to help out Dave Style Collector. Matthew, I'd rather a yellow than black 100%. Man, I, I understand because it is more kind of... The, the colors, they're so unique to the Oyster Perpetual. Then we got Ari G said, oh, he didn't say anything, but okay, 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 okay. And G said 41 green. Ooh, I this, that in person. Yeah. this is what Lolix wants. Exactly, man. The no. green, the green. But Jubilee Jubilee said 41 uh, blue or black or green. Let's see the the blue is amazing. By the way, all of these blues they're actually different. Apparently, the blue on the date just the the blue on the Roman numerals and the blue on the batons yeah. they're different blue. Yeah, Roman blue. This is like a dark blue. Yeah, Correct. so guys, that's an important thing to keep in mind. Matthew Egan said green or teal. 
I freaking love the teal. Actually, my wife uh, also really likes the teal. Does that guy have a neck tattoo? Am I seeing that right? He does. He, he came. Oh. He came on the show. Yeah. Oh, he's the one with the date just. Yeah. The, he, he changed his avatar. Yeah. Mm, very cool. I was like, very what cool. is that? Yeah, he got. I think he got the sub. Right. He got the sub from the AD. Yeah. yeah. He was patient. Played the game. Uh, was respectful and boom, the That's AD exactly. delivered. That's you how you do it. That's, that's the whole reason I've had such a good relationship with my ADs is that I'm like honest with them. I'll be like, dude, I know this is a great watch, but this isn't what I'm looking for. And they, they'll they respect that. They'll know if you said, if they sold me the yellow, I would have just got rid of it, honestly. Wow. And look at this. Reinhardt said he just put 31 mil candy pink got 31. on his wife. Mm. Wow. Oh, there's two actually pinks. There's pink and then there's the can candy pink is definitely the one to get. Congratulations, Reinhardt. That's amazing. Congratulations. I hate that name though, Candy Pink. Candy Pink. <laughs> it's a Rolex. It's not a shape. Made out of actual candy. Pure candy. Yeah. <laughs> That's their new one though. Uh Clam Morgan said Tiffany Blue. Tiffany Blue. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's, JC that's wants the yellow nice. one. 36. Wow, Sim, uh, Tim S says 36 pink. Amazing. Actually, on the 36, it, you get the double batons, where, whereas on the other one, you didn't, you get single batons. But still, hey, hey, that's would you rock amazing. that? Would you wear that with a pink shirt? A pink, polo? I would. I, oh my god, that's genius. you'd be, you'd be the Look pinkest that's person that's in the world, dude. You know, people will think you have huge. You need to. You need a huge dick and balls to oh, wear yeah. that. And a I yacht. think you could walk a huge yacht dick with and balls, guys. <laughs> yes. Not one or the other. You gotta have both to rock a watch like that. Selkie Yang says, "I think the new Oyster Perpetual with lacquer dial OP31 is the real deal. 31 for woman size is the best in my opinion. Perfect balance. Such clean dial with double line three nine indices. Cool. And oh my." Wait a minute. Oh, two more super chats. Will lead to one, two, one, one, ten dollars super chat. I have to be honest, guys. You guys are amazing. I've learned so much from you. Thank you so much for the show. Much love from Miami. Hey, we're glad. Miami. Hey, man. And I didn't want to do it, but oh my God. Today turned out to be one of the better days. Thank you so much, Walito. Uh, me too. I'm learning myself. Uh, Perth is has been really freaking informative, man. It's nice to see that there's other people who are very passionate about other hobbies. Like when I joined, I was passionate. I'm still passionate about the fragrances, and I'm so glad to be able to share uh, my my uh, fragrance passion. Got whiskey passion, which I love whiskey, but I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. So mm -hmm. it's really nice to learn something new every day. Hist one three seven eight, another five dollar super chat. Is the OP silver champagne dial the same color as the they just sunray silver? Oh, actually, let's bring these two up. I believe it is, but let's just make sure. Yeah, let's just take a look. Let's just see what it looks like on the website. Uh, let's see here. Bam. We'll put that there. We'll take the new tab. It's it's okay. on the, the turquoise. Let's see. Here we go. They just. You said turquoise? It's oh, wait a minute. It, yeah. So, it switched over to the turquoise. Oh, damn it. Wait, how did... Sorry about that. There we go. There we go. Okay. Actually, let me click on it so that it makes it it, it makes it bigger. There we go. Ooh. Okay. And we'll do... Uh, oh, the 41. Uh, let's do the 41 on this one as well. Wait. How come? Ah, there it is. Okay. You know what? I think it's uh, it's kind of different. Let's see. Actually, you know what? Mm, there we go. Look at this. It might be a tinge different at most if it's not the same. 
Wowzers. But it does look does look very, very similar. Like we might be splitting hairs if it's different, but I mean it's, yeah, yeah, it's the same shade. Look at this. Mm. I mean, there are there are mine I actually in you guys can't see it, but I can see that the the little numbers, the minute markers, they're black on the on this on the date chest. Whereas mm. they're in they, they, there's no, no there's no numbers actually. On the Oyster Perpetual, there are these yellow squares. Which I don't like the numbers on the date just to be honest with you. Actually, let me see. I can scroll it down here. They should Silver have dot. Oh, look at this. Oh Bam! I don't like those numbers. Woo! Oh, the champagne is the crown and the uh yeah. the five minute markers. Value guys. Oh Holy. my god. <laughs> It is well great. done oh. for, for a six. I tear it up a little bit. That That's impressive. a good value. Mm. Holy Fine. shit. I mean, you can see it. So the dial itself does now on my monitor, it actually the the tinge is a little bit different. I can see it's silverish in this one, the tinge off the dial, whereas it's yellowish on the oyster perpetual. Okay, I I mean if I, I can I, I mean on my dial on my screen I can see the difference. I don't know if you guys will be able to pick up because the way the colors change on the it looks uh, it looks barely different on my screen. It doesn't right. Look yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I I can pick I can pick it up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Then we got and also I think when you have the gold indices and the yellow, the that contrast will make the dial look, look mm, more mm, yellow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whereas, it could be, it, yeah, it could be like an optical illusion. Uh, I mean, well, it's not, or, or just the reflection of the gold or the reflection under the, cross, right. or under the crystal, right? Yes. Like that, that will kind of change your. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just even the way that the dial yep. appears. Yep. So, yep. who's that famous? Who's that Las Vegas uh, magician? Which one? Uh, <laughs> David Copperfield. Just throw out names, man. Sigfried David Copperfield. Roy, uh, a Penn, Penn and Teller. Nope. Uh, Copperfield. Uh, who's the one that did the free? I remember David Blaine. It was the guy that could was it to, Blaine? He, okay. Well, he got into like boxes and contorted himself for like yep. forty-eight hours. Mm. Oh, um, the the one the one that um, was on Hell's Kitchen that just starts walking in midair. Yeah, there was one guy. That oh, series, Chris Angel. That yeah, oh, yeah, that's Chris, him. Chris Angel. Angel. He was the yeah. best. He was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, freak show. Actually, free, yeah, he was crazy. Freak. A shot in the dark, black or blue OP thirty six. Tim, I I would have to go with the blue because I'm looking at it as a collection. If it's a, as a one and done, then black or a blue. Actually, both both are fine. Yeah. But one and done, black is better. But as in a massive collection, in, well, not mass, but in a bigger collection, definitely blue. Because you have to, you have to have a little variety, right? Yeah. Yeah, but there it is. What a, what a comparison, guys. Oyster steel. Look, they're they're even actually using. Are they using the same images? Yeah. The only, the, only, the, only, the only way you're going to get that, that sort of a cross-section um, mm. shot, guys, is if you use it under a borderline of scanning electron microscope. Mm. Um, and that sort of stuff, that sort of stuff does not grow on trees. I mean, mm. a, a, a panda's cheap compared to one of those machines. <laughs> oh, he said, yeah, the Datejust 36 Silver is mostly steel gray under cool mm. artificial lighting. Only yep. becomes interesting and shifts color in sunlight and warm light. By the way, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. literally, I had I, I had this discussion in private with Lolex, right? Uh, Lolex was asking me like which which date just to go for. Mm -hmm. Make sure they bring those two up. And we were going through catalog. Yeah. Oh, I accidentally clicked on the explorer. Sorry about that. And. Let's bring up a date just here. <clears throat> just a second, guys. Two tone. We want steel. We want smooth. We want oyster, preferably, or jubilee. Both work well. Now, 
I am honestly, I'm not a fan of this of the silver dial. I, I told, I told Olex, dude, like it's mm-hmm. the but, rhodium. But, it's the rhodium. I, I think you go um, jubilee when you're using a fluted bezel, bling with bling. Yeah, the bling bling That's bling. What I, think. I think if you're doing smooth like this, you go yeah, extra bracelet for sure. I agree, hundred percent, hundred percent. And the rhodium dial is very nice. Black is nice mm. too. Actually. Black is black is nice. Not bad. Not bad. Rhodium, I think, it's a little bit more adventurous. I like the rhodium. If you're Toyota picking between says, the two, what's up, Fikers? By the way, you guys want to see something rhodium? You guys want to see something that's made of? Oh, I actually, let's let's do let's do Perth, and then I'll show you guys something uh, in rhodium. Uh, Perth, Perth, Oyster Perpetual. Tell me. Yeah, oh, yeah, by yeah. the way, get, Toyota Mo, we're talking gonna... about what's the best Oyster Perpetual? Which one would you get? Well, he has the uh, the turquoise. Doesn't forty one? I think his is the forty one. Toyota Mo has an Oyster half, Perpetual. Half his luck. He does. Yeah. Toyota Mo yeah. has uh, the, the turquoise. Yep. He's got this, wow, this very baby cool. right here. Yep. I wonder how he likes it. Toyota Mo, mm. jump off. Let us know. Toyota Mo, how's that Oyster Perpetual working out? Man, it's fucking he says, amazing. He says yeah. the OP Tiffany is the best. Mm. I'm pull up a photo for you guys real quick here. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. No. Now, Perth. I'm going to send it to you, Tim. On. Oh, okay, okay. Perth, which OP? Which OP? And why? Yeah, you, you guys are gonna hate me for this. Let's um, do it. No, we wouldn't hate so for, for, I'll tell. I'll tell you why though. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tell us so first. <laughs> the uh, 40, 41 mil Canary Yellow. So the one I gave up. <laughs> That's the one you would want it. Yep, because That's I cool. would cannibal. Uh, I would cannibalize the dial. Remember, remember what Domino's did? Oh my goodness! I take back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You spoke too soon. You spoke too soon. Because, uh, right. What's happening here? Wait, wait. Uh, I, I, I missed it. I Sorry, I was looking at the, at the I paper. Care. I wouldn't. He wants wouldn't, to buy the. Really. He wants to buy the yellow one and do a Domino's pizza dial swap. <laughs> oh, I was. I was oh. no, 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 no. I was gonna <laughs> what put. What the hell? I was gonna. I was gonna put in black. Uh oh. I was gonna put an eight spoke B on it. So I was effectively gonna make it a Bruins OP. Oh, Dude. oh, get it. Oh, oh. But yeah, cool. that would be an abomination. Oh, I yeah. mean, it, let's be honest here. It's an oyster perpetual. It's not exactly. a Daytona. I'd, I'd, a, I'd, do what you I mean, want. I'd, well, I'd, 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 I'd still, I'd still take the the yellow, simply because, like, I mean, I know, I know, this is a case of if uh, if if the CEO of Rolex gave gave you a genie in a bottle and one which which OP would you have? No waiting list. Rah rah rah. I'd, I'd still probably go go the yellow simply because the green for me reminds me of the, all the problems that started with Rolex, the Hulk, the the flippers, the greed, the lust, um, the <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany has just continued that. Um, I, I, ju- I just do not want to be associated with those colours because, <laughs> because o- over here I've I've seen people hassled coming out of my ad called flippers because they just because they have a certain colored watch on or, or a certain model That's so hilarious. i'm like I, I i just want something that just isn't flipper related ah uh, so but still i'm not, not de- sure de- you definitely like the yellow for visibility every every time i uh, i i buy something from like a like an ad they package it up all nice good experience i ask them for a garbage bag and then I put my, like the tutor bag or whatever, or like the, the jewelry stores bag. I'll put it in like a plain Why? paper, yeah. a plain plastic bag when I like leave Why? the store to, so you don't get jacked, like I, walking around the mall or going to the parking lot. That's true. Again. That's, that's, that's what I do. Like e- even with an Amiga, like I'll put it in yep. like just some no, no name bag. And, and then and, and then keep, no one and then no one's yelling at me, covered. calling me a dirty, nasty flipper or a cod piece gentleman or nothing like that. I can just like <laughs> walk out to my car in peace. Be about my, be about my gentleman. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Hello, shot in the dark. Tell us Even which then. OP and why. Ah, uh, you know, whenever you showed that rhodium, uh, that's sweet. The this one what? right here. 
the, uh, the rhodium silver, dial. The, the darker. Yeah. That darker silver. Wait. Oh, is no, it perpetual? There's no rhodium on this perpetual. Oh, it was, no, no, it was, it was on the day just no. It was in the 36. Shot, try again. Oh, Wait. there we go. No, no, no. You're talking about there this one go. right here. Yeah, the there day just. Go. Yeah. That's the day just. Yeah, yeah. We're off that, man. Oh, okay. I, I thought that was in the... Uh, no, yeah. unfortunately no. not. Yeah, Stole this thing out. is amazing. The rhodium. Damn. Can't get it. Because uh, that right Can't there. Get any of them. The, That's the uh, winner winner, right? Chicken dinner. Well, the the problem I have with the with the standard uh, champagne or silver yeah. is it needs to wash out in mm -hmm. sunlight. Mm -hmm. That right there would be a good compromise because I don't think it would wash out as bad. You know, actually, I think that's why the when they made an oyster perpetual, I think that's why they put the, all the gold, uh, yellow gold indices and the yellow gold that's crown right. mm -hmm. because of that problem. Yeah. Uh, that's why. The oyster perpetual has everything gold. That way, it doesn't wash out as much. Because mm -hmm. I, this is the only one that I tell people to fucking stay away. The oil, the, the the silver one, because the white mm -hmm. one's amazing. Everything else, freaking amazing. The blue, the Wimbledon, the the rhodium, the black. It everything is just fantastic. It's just the silver one. It's kind of like yep. ah, it's just in between. That, it's in between of nothing. That darker blue. Yes, that sweet. That's also another good one. Mm. Oh, we got Willito one two one one five dollars super chat. If Tudor puts the Black Bay fifty eight in house movement in the OP looking Black Bay, would the Rolex OP still be popular? These Tudors are pretty nice. Hmm. I don't think so. You know, actually, I think that's what Tudor did this year. Guys, guys. Yes, the Rolex would be popular. Look, but I oh, think yeah. that's what Tudor um, did with the new dumb. silver Tudor. Guys, but check this out. Let me show you. The, the new Tudor, actually, everybody, I think people the, underappreciate the, the still, the still how bummer. amazing this thing is. 32. Let me just bring up the 36 right here. Look at this. The new silver tutor. <sighs> wow. Winner, you like winner. That? You like that? Yeah, I think it's freaking amazing alternative to the OP. And look at the price. I mean, this thing is $3,000. Stunning watch. Look at that. You can get it on the leather strap. Woo! Woo! Uh, I I would counter. Amazing. I would pol I would politely counter with. Look at the black Rory McElroy's Ro Rory McElroy's Aquaterra the, with the hints of green on no, it. But that's, because that's you can you can play price. sports with that. But that's double price. Double sure? double price. Yeah. Aquaterra. Yeah, Aquaterra is their double. The Ro Rory McElroy you know edition. Wait a minute. I had heard that Tiger Woods was uh, promoting. They were using him in a Tudor promotion. Was it for this piece? Uh, may, sure. may have been for I, this piece. I just heard I, that I, today. I, I, oh, I thought I, when he won when he won the Masters, what was it? Correct me if I'm wrong. It's 2019. I think mm. so. Yeah. Yeah. It, what he was wearing um, a James Cameron. Yes, he was. Well, not well, during yeah. the round. Yeah, he doesn't wear it. No, he doesn't no. wear it while he's playing. <laughs> well, Phil Mickelson had that what Cellini looking thing, or I forgot. We we identified the uh, the mm. Rolex, the thin Rolex he was wearing, but no, just for promotion, you know. But but I, Tiger's I, I not know, wearing, I know that, Tiger's but, not wearing a Tudor, but I think he maybe it got it could be misinformation. What? Phil Phil plays with his Rolex fake on, news. Yes, what? Yeah, he does. He does. And look at this, guys. Even the prices wow. on these Tudors are synchronized. There's the, uh, like sorry, not boss. the price, but the sizes. <laughs> the Black Bay forty one. There's Black Bay thirty six. It's the same. What they put. Well. Uh, an in-house movement in here. I actually, you know what? Forget about the even the in-house. Who cares? This is a winner in of itself. I mean, this could be a great first piece. Here's, you know, I'd, here's what's I'd wrong. Say people do, do what's wrong with this? Sorry, this is this is what's wrong with this one. Okay, what? Okay, is it's having an identity crisis. It the does. hand on it, yes, and the loom pips. So you have like a diving loom pips. 
in like a dress watch case or field watch case. So it's, yeah. it's like, it's this weird amalgamation of two different types of watches. Yes. It, it looks it worse kind of it, yeah. than the SMP 300. Rob, get out of my head because I was just thinking that. I want. I wanted to know what sub they robbed the dial from. I'm living in your head, right? <laughs> for you. You, you know the really cool thing about this watch is big. that <laughs> the really cool thing about this watch is that it. You know the the Black Bay Forty One. It's got. It's so thick. It's unwearable. Whereas this thing is actually considerably quite thinner because it doesn't have that chunky, girthy, yeah. uh, rattle. Uh, uh, Bezel, it wears really well though. It does. <laughs> yeah, it does actually wear really well. This they thing fix that. I wears agree. amazing. I mean, if you change, just think about this from hands. wearability perspective, this could be a great piece for. As that, this could be a great first piece. It will literally last a lifetime. Let's see, Perth, what you got? Well, what do we got? That's, what do we got? that's a point. That's a point. So that's Ooh. Planet Ocean Forty Three. That's, 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 right that's, right that's a brick. Let's see it yeah, on the wrist. It's, it's, got, the, it's, got, the, it's got the GMT complication. Oh. Okay. Um, oh, Perth, you got I don't know why. I don't know why Arch doesn't go to go to one of these from a oh. from the Tudor that he can't move. Oh, he's talking about it. He's talking about getting a plan Well, he should. Yeah, he should. Oh, we got Drew. I mean, I mean have, you, have you have you have you seen the um the the probably one of the entry level planets? What? White dial orange bezel. What Omega did. I wish they'd done it to all their watches. They loomed the whole bezel. That thing's like a giant torch at night. Yeah. And, and I mean, <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've seen those, those getting 15, 20% um, discount. So they use just, uh, just under $2,500. Like no, 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 no. So the, the re retail of the one that I got, which was a special order, that's roughly 12, 12K Australian. I got oh, it for no. less than 10K. I got it for less than 10k. So I mean, the, the, probably the the next planet that I might get if I was ever going to get one, I'm not. Um, couldn't you sorry, get one of the older? <laughs> couldn't you get one of the older Planet Oceans like for 25 to three grand online? Or am I? Uh, right? uh, possibly. Like a, but you know, a used one, like a one that was heavily used. I think you can find them for like three grand, right? Or no? Um. <laughs> Anyway, yes, right. but would you? But you could could yeah. you? But would I? Is another question. Yeah, yeah. No, would you? I think I think for certain people, like I think a Planet Ocean would be a great first watch if you were gonna. Yeah, look, like there's one right here for thirty seven hundred. That's just yeah, looking right now. You can get them in the threes and fours. Yeah. The the uh, the uh, the only the only one, admittedly, I'd look for um, the orange bezel al orange bezel aluminium. Um, Mark Harmon. Everybody knows who Mark Harmon is. He ha he has one of those. So half the watches that Mark Harmon wears, um, whenever he's acting, are actually his own. Like he he he's actually got the wrists, believe it or not, to pull off a plow prof, and it actually looks palatable Ooh. on him. Man, but, but, but the thing is with the plow prof is that almost anyone can pull it off because of the way the 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 bracelet hugs the wrist. He's got it on the rubber strap. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, orange. Yeah. Oh, he's probably the only guy that can do that. But I mean, uh, everybody knows it. Uh, Sean Murray, Jag NCIS. Okay. You say, have you seen yeah. what he's what, what he's rocking? I still don't know who Mark uh, Hammond is. Sure. I have no idea who Mark that is. Mark Harmon. Mark Harmon. I just let it go. I let it go. <laughs> is Earth, is, man. I'm not from. We're not NCIS? from Australia. From what? And the who? N N NCIS. NCIS. What is that? We're on the YouTube. God, nobody's we, watched TV in 18 TV. years. We're YouTubers. We're, we're, we're YouTube. too. We're too busy pumping out the content. <laughs> well, an anyway, anyway, sure. Um, sure. Wait, sure, wait Perth, Do you have a Do you have a poster? Um, is he like someone you have a poster of in your room, like a Mark? No. Is this, <laughs> no. Is this a thing no. in Australia? <laughs> uh, does he drink no. Ardbeg? Ardbeg. Oh uh, my God, guys! No. Alex has a really interesting question. Guys, thoughts on Yachtmaster 40 with dark rhodium dial? Probably not my thing personally. Ooh. 
Anyone? Any? Any? Anyone interested in it? And that has the light blue uh, accents. Is that the one? Yeah. Talking yes. About? The baby blue, baby blue, baby got back hand. <laughs> Value for money is good. Value for money. But, but. But what? What? What's the but? Oh, I don't like the but. I would. I would still rather. I'd still rather stick with the, just like a just a classic sub. Just a classic sub. Okay, let me show you guys something. Cue the baby got back music right now, Bert. He, he shattered. He, uh, oh, the only, uh, the only one I got. <laughs> it's the one and only Eagle Double G. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't see that, Tim. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know how Tim knows the song Baby Got Back. Baby Got Back. He's too young. Uh, I've got a box in here. I'll open it for a, a, a $10 super chat. It's something interesting in here. Ouch! But uh links fell out. So, I th- I thought I thought it was so- something that was going to scare you, Tim. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty a... scary looking thing that's in here. I thought it was going to be a, me- a meteorite uh, Daytona. No. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. You know, you're not you're not going to believe it. I mean, what what I have here it's so s- incomprehensible. It makes no sense. Why would I even have this thing? But man, a, ca- a candy pink? <laughs> it's not mine. I let's, let's be clear. This is not mine. It's uh, That's what they all say. Tim. T- Tim's wife has joined the chat. Yeah. Oh, wait, she did? No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh. She, Are we she, taking uh, smack donations? She, she's, no, 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 no smack. Right, I don't want right, to get smacked right. anymore. Right, please. Right, right. His wife's What's about up? to find out. She's, she's about she to woke up. Her. She woke up. She was really machine. angry at me. But anyways, I mean, people are not interested. So, okay. Let's move on. Let me close that. So, so, Tim, do we want to talk about Omega versus Rolex? Ah, Omega versus no. Rolex. <clears throat> yes. Omega is relegated to be going against Tudor in a mano, mano a mano, man. Mano a mano. Uh, he's so funny. He said he's, he's sending half and someone else send another five to open it. <laughs> So, sorry, but I I I, I can't, I can't agree go, that Omega, okay. Omega's relegated. Apply Thank two, you. Apply two fifty from the uh, the poster okay. donation to uh, open up. Well, I don't even know what you're opening up. I don't know. Wait, you who's gotta opening open it? it now? You. Oh, the ro- yeah. I mean, I I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it to the side for a couple minutes. If somebody adds okay. another five dollar super chat, we'll open up this box. I'll show you what I have here. It's uh. It's not my watch, but I'll show you. Actually, I was absolutely shocked, shocked by how amazing it looks. I need to make, I need to bust out a quick video be- before because when I come back from Barcelona, I have to give it, give it back. But uh, man, this is this thing is so cool! I can't believe it. Tim, you're acting like it's big, like it's bigger than your panda. What could it be? Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, the panda. There's just a lot of this fake hype around it. And I, when I say fake hype, <laughs> so, I literally mean it's fake hype. <laughs> panda is good. It's good. It's great. It's amazing. But uh, look, it's not, it's okay. You're insane. I, I think. It's, this it's thing funny. that I have here, it's actually freaking amazing. It's, it, you know, you have to have a lot of courage uh, to. The whole, the whole reason why I don't like want to. Whoa, my out. camera I, stopped. Uh, it's, it's just, it's, 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 it's just, it's just not legible for me. That's why, like, even if, if you gave me a, a, a genie in a bottle with one wish, and it was either the panda or the racing speedy with the silver white doll, I picked the the racing speedy with a silver white doll. Shoot me, yes. Happy to be shot. Mm. Um, I just, I, for me, for me, legibility and functionality is everything. I know a lot of people's like residuals, residuals, residuals. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm like, I'm like Lolex. If you, if you can't be genuine, I don't want to be a fake. I mean, 
I, I would. I, I mean, being honest and being real to me is. Yeah. It, it, it's something that you, you, you can't trade it at the end of the day. It's something that you can't buy. Don't don't mm. trade it away. Yeah. I, I I completely agree with you. I don't I don't think that Daytona is the easiest one to read at a glance. It's impossible to read. I was wearing it today. Do you think I said it properly to to the time? Yeah. It, it is. It's, it's Look, so hard. What to time read. is Tim, it in New York? Tim Look. doesn't even set the time. I don't. Should be, it should be about nine forty. It should be about nine forty p.m. in New York right now. Look, you can see it's running. Oh, yes, wait. it's nine forty. Um, and what time is it on yeah, on the Daytona? I can't tell. It could be nine forty. I don't even. <laughs> It's, it's, it's upside it's down. It's sometime. It's <laughs> <like> eleven. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's eleven. I couldn't tell. It's, yeah, it's, it's just. It's I'm on the. I'm just on the East Coast, of, uh, man. I'll tell you what time it is. It's two. I just time. whacked it on and and left. That's it. Tim, set the watch. See this? Yeah. Wand and wear, baby. Exactly. You know dates. I don't bother. You know dates. I get wrong too. I don't. I don't always. Put, put so, the right I mean, date. That's why I love this watch. Yes, no date, that's no the worries. beauty of the OPs. That's the beauty of the OPs is you can just whack them on. They're super legible. They look beautiful, and you don't have to muck around. Yep, and they and they don't have a bracelet as abhorrent as the No Time to Die Seamaster, and they don't look like <laughs> an absolute eyesore like the. Ah, oh, bourbon hard. I mean, that's what was up. made I mean... to try and compete with the yacht master. Have you seen the the SMPs that were made to try and compete with the YM? It's mm. terrible. They are mm. absolutely terrible. And I mean, they're 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 more than the No Time to Die Speedmaster. I mean, Seamaster. Sorry, I hate them. You know, Perth. I can't believe it. How. Uh, that 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 Burbing Heart, a guy who's who, who was on the show, had to pay the other five dollars to see what's in the box. I'm I I don't want that, people to forget. I I'm I'm generally curious what what Tim Wright thinks is better than a Daytona. Okay, are you ready? Uh, so, so, so wait, 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 inside wait. a box. <laughs> it's wait. an empty box. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's, that's better than a slap. Look at that. Ta da! That is that's nice. A 40 mil. Mm. Wait, wait. Uh, give, me, give me your Give me your way. I'll show you guys Please. how they compare <laughs> the 40 versus the 37. Okay. <laughs> so this is, this is Tim's wife's everyday uh, Boom. You can see the 37. I'd probably, I'd probably have the smaller. Actually, I think the smaller one looks nicer. What? No, I don't, the, the 40 is not too big. Let me show you how it wears. It is. This thing wears like nothing. It's magic on the wrist. Magic encapsulated. I, I, here, take your I, I'm, I'm trying to be polite here, Tim, if yes. you know what I mean. <laughs> yes. Please continue being polite. <laughs> Let me show happy, you. Happy, you know what equals happy life. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, this is not mine. This is not mine. No, no the, the 37, super the chat to slap Tim just light, just lightly. Lolex, why are you doing this? <laughs> For the fan, babe. <laughs> Come on, Tim's wife, please take off. Uh, she wants me to take it off because she doesn't want me to damage it in some kind of reaction. Okay, just smart lady. Like... She's she. <laughs> That's the 40. That's the 40. Mm. Look how amazing it wears. It's fucking luxurious. Do, do you have uh do you have, nice, uh, sure. do you have your uh, 40 sub, Tim? Yes. Can can too you big, show people can, can you show people the sides of the case? Like the case flanks side by side. Oh, I hate the 40. I mean, to me, visually, personally, it just looks like a, a circle. Bolted on a rectangle, Guys, bolted on a bracelet. It's fake oh, news. The, the hate of the Yachtmaster 40 is fake news. This watch is absolutely stunning. It's the next level. It's like Submariner taken to the next level. For me, for oh, me the problem with the 40, 40, the 40 subs... 
for me, the problem okay. was always the, the forest. Lungs. I mean, side by side. Shit, wait. Oh, definitely the YM for me. Definitely the YM. The 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 lugs are um, turned in more, or at least but, they they feel But if you it. look at but if you look at the far side of the flank, though, right? So if Tim turns it like away from, so the the so the crown is facing away. So the crown's facing away. The the yaw master just yep. looks nicer. So it's so here's the thing. If as soon as Tim gets gets the angle right, get like the far flank. So the opposite side of the crown. What is a flank? Oh, is other ship verb. <laughs> There. So if you look at this, back. right, you look how rounded the Yachtmaster case is compared to the sub. So a lot of people find it to be more comfortable because it's almost like a look, date look at, just look at, the way that well, look, the, look at this. Look at the side of the Daytona case. It's, it's so smooth on the wrist. It's like a sub that wears like a date just. It's like a fancier that. sub. I mean, it's yeah. it's, it's like less yeah. tooly yeah. of a watch. It's so amazing. Luxurious. Where's the sub? It's got these hard edges. Look at that. You can see the it hard just, it edges. Reminds, it just like reminds a me razor too much blade. of a Tudor. Yeah. It just reminds me of a slimmed down Tudor. And I mean, uh, okay, now you're going to give me the super like slap? Okay, just, just lightly, not oh. too strong. <laughs> can oh, please, come on. That? No, no, just lightly. Just, just on Wait, you want to do this one? Wait. Don't, don't do a running start. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Instead of doing it, she's just making you. She's she's the anticipation of it is yeah. the worst. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yo! Can I get the Hennessy back? What the fuck? <laughs> That's it. No more. There, there's no more. I'm not doing these slaps anymore. She does. She doesn't know how to play the game. Uh, she's not being like, you know, she, you know, she she's can take the money. Look, there's an imprint. You can see her finger is like this way. <laughs> that shit, guys. Lolex, you're welcome. Where if you man, with... don't no, don't you welcome me? <laughs> you're welcome, everyone. That's it. Uh, that's it. That's it. It's done. It's done. I'm gonna make a T-shirt, super slap, and that's it. No more, no more soup. Actual super slabs. I'm done with that. It hurts. It actually hurts. I, 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 I can think. think I, can, I can think of. I can. I can think of the next mug. We'll, we'll have. We'll have Ralph Archer's Ralphie Luxury in, in like the middle, and then we'll have um, off to one side. We'll have the the crew laughing their heads off. A picture of Kerry Packer and a picture of Tim getting super slapped. <laughs> for his reaction <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to get super slapped anymore hey Tim does your does your wife ever like take off her sandal and like throw it at you <clears throat> like hit you with it is that a yes he's laughing because it's true <laughs> he's laughing, he's laughing. Uh... Tim, you son of a bitch he's just fucking <laughs> I love how Perth and me are both wearing slides right now <laughs> so we're able to do that job yeah I swear, I swear by Hoka slides. Ever since I tried Hoka, Hokas, love them. Nice. Oh Is my watching God. the the, uh, the Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul fight tonight? Uh, Ooh, uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't not, know. I'm not gonna pay for it. I'm not paying for it. I got the link up. I'm gonna probably tune in as soon as it starts. There's actually a link. Uh, Marco knows uh, a link where you can watch it for free. Yeah, I got it up. If if, okay. if if you ever if you ever want anything for free, ask Marco. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> He's a no, true no, socialist. No, That's no, what it means. No, oh, it, Captain. It means... Cap Cap's gone. His phone oh. died. Oh. oh, his phone died. The battery. Yes. I I, I, I was listening to um I don't remember. I think it was like a podcast or something. And someone was saying how mm. they think that. Logan Paul might actually knock out Floyd Mayweather just because it's a like uh, it's a staged fight essentially. That's what they're thinking it's going to be. Uh, like Floyd uh, hit the ground once in this fight. Interesting. Uh, is that is that because they thought the uh, the Ben Ashkin one was staged? Yeah, staged. He took a dive. Yeah, an an overweight <laughs> middle aged man like going into a fight. Ben Ashkin literally looked like me shirtless. He was just so doughy. He just like went into the fight. Was like, what are you doing, dude? You're a professional fighter. What are you doing? 
but we'll see what happens. I'm excited. I'm gonna, I wish I put money on it. Can I get Hennessy back? What? Oh, All Mayweather fights are staged. Yeah. <laughs> Being spicy. Being spicy. But, by the way, so, Burp. What's up? Dude, I think this whole look this this is this is what i think about when comparing the 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 yeah, day no. just wait sorry not the day just the, the yacht master, master versus yeah. submariner yeah here's the thing see when you go into times before during the normal times right when when the yacht master was like overpriced like it was you know the price is i think like 3000 more expensive than the sub You're, oh, on the you're saying MSRP. Well, saying MSRP. But, yeah, MSRP. MSRP. Well, 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 guys, we've also failed to take into um, account what you can actually get at MSRP. Right. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. You go back to those to do the good old days when you when everything, let's say everything equal, right? And people would say, oh, the the, the, the people who can't afford the yacht master created this fake news Hi. thing where it's oh you know the submar the, the sub is actually better than the yacht master because it's the same watch but you can get it much cheaper where in reality guys like how many people actually go diving no nobody goes diving is it a little bit too luxurious maybe but the yacht master actually wears like a tight chest with the function of the sub it's genius if only they put a glide lock on it that would be the best watch that rolex had ever produced on the, on the topic of diving on. and this is something you're going to really love tim mm. so my uncle one of my uncles actually used to be a saturation dive for shell mm -hmm. and um because because I, I i love i love how how you really love tax loopholes and stuff yeah so my uncle one one year he bought a Planet Ocean. This is when he was starting out. Tax mm -hmm. write-off. Completely ah, wrote it off on tax for work. And then um, recently he got a 126600. So that's a Red Riding Sea Dweller. Tax write-off. 16 grand. Loophole. <laughs> When when I um a couple months ago ended up going by a, a local Rolex AD, and it's a jewelry shop right now, like a boutique. Thing, right so there's a bunch of different brands usually the rolex cases are empty but they did end up having um the yacht master on oyster flex and mm. ever rose um and the in ever rose it does have a glide lock on it not in their their standard metal there's bracelet just has the little lock. diver extension but if you do the and that's one thing about you know kind of the the whole uh ever rose or sorry the uh oyster flex option but it, it was pretty cool and you know, if you're if you were getting that that standard yacht master, right? Um, yeah. You know, you're you're getting you don't that, get the, the, the glide lock, yeah. Yeah, you don't get the the glide lock on that one. You have to do the oyster flex option, which is then wow. it very cool. But um, it it's almost like they took the function of the sub and then dressed it up, right? Yeah. Because even oh. even that one, they made it date justy. <clears throat> exactly. I mean, and it's like. It wears so well. I can't tell you. Like, guys, you put it on. I put that watch on, and it just wears so comfortably. So comfortable. It's, it, it wears like the like the Explorer 1 uh, almost because of all the okay. curvatures, all the smooth angles, and there's no, like, super crazy edges that the, uh, that the sub has. But it's... I mean, it's not for diving because it's the the bezel. The bezel on that one is um, is bidirectional. Bi yes. So it's not, you know, it's, it's really not for being a. Uh, which 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 one is it bidirectional? I'm sorry. Yacht the master. bezel on the yacht master it goes both ways. So it's actually it's more really? practical. Yeah. You want to see it? It's not a GMT. It's not a GMT. That's silly. Well, it's just you're you're not going to be diving with a. 
a platinum. No, not desert. diving. No, not yeah, diving. Like, yeah, you're, you're, no, 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 no. It's it's a it's a it's a this is, this it's is, a diving owner, kind of. This is the owner of a yacht. The, the, right? It's the, a super the, waterproof the, watch. It's not for the, diving. The, the, it's for yeah, being yeah, on the, the yacht. The only the only diving you might do is to do an underwater proposal if you're some billionaire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. What? Yeah, the unidirectional vessel. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. You don't see a lot of these. That's the crazy thing. You don't see a lot of There's that. also no click to it. There's no like, yeah. a Submariner got that. Yeah. Here well, when was the first Yaw Master? Didn't it come out like Island. in 07 or 97 or something like that? It's like a recent watch. Actually, uh, I think they, the Yaw Master 2. The 2 is what I'm thinking. Yeah. I almost want to say it was 90s. The first yeah. job after? Yeah, was it ninety yeah. two? I gotta look. I, no gotta look. I think it was actually rebranded. It was the yacht master was supposed to be the Submariner too, but they rebranded as the yacht master. Yeah, I, I think it might have been a like so, some people say it would. It was like Rolex's attempt of like updating the Speedmaster to make it dressier. <clears throat> I think it was originally. Yeah, I think ninety two. Submariner updating the uh, Submariner yeah. to yeah, yeah. to make it more to, to make it like dressier, right? Yeah, and then. The only reason I know that the Yacht Master is like a somewhat newer watch in terms of when it was introduced is because Rolex never does commercials. You'll never see a commercial for a Rolex like on TV or anything like that, right? But uh, they I did. Have, I have. You have. If you're thinking of the same one I'm thinking of, is that they did a, a commercial with Brad Pitt for the Yacht Master. Nope. Oh, nope. you're not. You won't, you, won't have, you, you, won't, you won't have seen this because this one's localized to Australia. So there's a, yeah. there's a famous yacht race that's actually taken people's lives, sadly. Called the Sydney to Hobart. Mm -hmm. um, COVID's cancelled it for another year. Shame. Um, but there's always, before they cut to a race highlights, there's always a, a commercial for Rolex mm -hmm. because it's called the Rolex Sydney Hobart. Oh, I never huh. see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, never, that's, yeah. That's what I meant. But it's, I've, only seen, it's an I've only seen one commercial for a Rolex and Brad Pitt was in it. It's so well, weird. For, it's just Formula, like, Formula One, but oh, uh, or Federer, but that hardly counts. That's true, but it's like the dumbest and, and, commercial that Brad Pitt made. It's literally him like yeah. arguing with someone, and he's wearing like a yacht master in it. Makes no sense. <laughs> but yeah. he's literally like talking it's on the phone about like a yacht master. And he's like, "What? Huh?" That's <laughs> like it's a whole commercial. Yeah. Have you have you, seen, have you seen um have you seen Fed's latest toy, Federer? No. Oh. Oh. Which? Yeah. Yeah. Which one does he have? Uh, white gold, black doll, Pepsi. Mm pretty cool he's not That's a sports cool. watch guy he likes his date just and his day dates yeah have you seen that um he's also got a birth year daytona oh i've seen that too yeah yeah he does that rolex um youtube video where they talk about their watches and stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i saw that i oh, like honestly. his date just too he's got the one with like the silver dial with the numbers in it it's really cool yeah i mean i mean if if, if i had to have one sort of non Non Rolex, almost like a classic. Mm -hmm. It would be his his date just because I mean yeah. you can't get it now. I mean yeah, a lot of people reg regard it as some people have even called it a shitter. I'm like, uh, do you know who wears that? Yeah, the God himself. That's no shitter. Yeah. <laughs> no, his um, I like that configuration too because he's got the oyster bracelet with the fluted bezel and it's the big chunky mm. date just too. So it almost looks like a sky dweller in a weird weird way when you're looking at it. But I think it's like, it looks so awesome on his wrist. You know he wears it too, because you, you see the scratches on it. So you know he actually wears that thing. Pretty cool. Mm. Tim has been zoned out for two minutes straight. No, <laughs> no, I'm listening. He's literally reading emails right now. No, no, I'm working. Uh, so here's the thing. So I'm, we're going we're gonna to wrap it up. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great freaking show. Uh, let me just show you guys what what the the pro what is this project that we're working on, right? This behind the scenes thing. What? Why? Why what, am I? What, one oh, one oh, of oh, our oh, many oh, projects. Sorry, I missed the super chat. Hist one three seven eight. Does Dark Storm have E one fifty in in it? Perth. Sorry, it does. The only the only one that doesn't. Let me let me get it here. The only one that doesn't is going to be something like this guy. <sighs> Telescope. So that's the Telescope eight. Special special release by Diageo. Mm. So as you can see, if you look at that, mm. see how so that's so 
as the captain said, it almost looks like um, byproduct, shall we say? So the algorithm doesn't censor us, <laughs> and oh, I'll, I'll, so I'll, pull out, I'll, I'll pull out my dark storm. So this is my dark storm. So have a look at how dark that is, and that Ooh. is because, and it's a what they call a no age statement. So. Uh-huh. The eight-year-old, that's got an age statement of eight years. So this yeah. is at least three years old because it's called Scotch. So yeah. the uh, the traditions of Scottish law dictate that to be called Scotch, one of the um, requirements is it's got to be at least three years old in a cask before it can go into a bottle. So it's at least three years old. But I mean, you, you look at you look at that. Mm. I mean, you'd only you'd only ever expect that dark in a twenty-five to thirty-year-old. I mean, maybe not even that dark, but the so it's definitely got E150 in it, sadly. Um, E150 is I the think... colouring. Yeah. Yep. Um, wow. But ha- having having said that, one of the, one of the other little um, toys that I've got with me today, mm-hmm. I regard I regard this as my uh, I regard this as probably my Nautilus, um, because getting hold of one of these at the moment, Tim, um, mm. it's like trying to get it's like trying to get a panda. Oh. So that's an eighteen-year-old. That looks oh. probably it's it's dark. So yeah. I'll bring the dark storm in. Oh, you can see the difference. God. That's the so, natural so, eighteen versus the colored yeah, eighteen. So, that, so that's a natural eighteen. This isn't even an eighteen, Tim. It could be wow. five oh. years old. It could be four. It could Fuck. be who knows. But that's a natural eighteen from wow. the the Isle of Arran. Yeah. So. Like this one that I'm holding here, yeah. um, I could easily get uh, a couple of hundred dollars for it if I hadn't opened it. Opened it. Mm. I mean, so I could I've easily get that, five. I've... I paid two hundred for it. I, I mean, wow. You know? Is there any truth um, that some Scotch uh, distilleries will use like food colorings and dyes to like? Hundred percent. There you go. Yeah, as you with Talisker. Yeah, it's uh, it's using it. Right. Because Talisker it makes no eight. sense. Straight out of a cask. Okay, cask yeah. string. Talisker Dark Storm. Makes no sense. How is it so and, dark? And, and, and it? exactly when it's when it's gonna be younger. When it's gonna be younger than eight years old. One plus unfortunately one plus one equals two. With that sort wow. of stuff, but there, there's another sort of thing that some of the um, the Scotch snobs are uh, jumping up and down about at the moment. Mm. What they call chill, what they call chill filtration, mm. and this this is where another distillery shot themselves in the foot. We'll solve, save that for another day. We've got to keep we've got to keep the viewers coming back. Anyway, um, so chill filtering it. If it's below 46% ABV, some distilleries go, well, it's not stable. So what they do is they basically skim off the best parts by cooling it down to um, next to zero degrees. Mm. And they take off a lot of these little oils, flavours and that sort of stuff, stuff that um, really can give give it that sort of extra bit. Turn it from, say, a $200 scotch into, say, a $450 scotch. Mm. Wow. It's pretty crazy, guys. This uh, the so, world so, so, of whiskey is vicious. You have to be careful. It's like it's like the fucking Salida movement. You know, you can have this luxury brand watch, but it's got the Salida, right? That's the kind of shame. Yeah, it's a shame. shame. It is a shame. Okay, now before before I completely turn off the stream, let me show you guys just real quick what we're working on here in the back. <laughs> Wait, why why am I Judas? Am I Judas? What the? No, f- I'm Judas. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be. That's that's you know I'm I'm doing the art, so I get to be Judas. Nobody gets Nobody to be, gets Judas. To be Judas. Yeah. yeah. So, so we're gonna have. We're gonna have uh oh we're gonna have everybody we're gonna have everybody in here all the all the usual suspects right uh we're gonna have uh our uh, you know there's people who help us found, fund it there's uh you know we're gonna we're gonna have like Marco Lolex JJ obviously I'm gonna be here Archie Mr GMT uh Burbinghard uh Captain everybody's gonna be in the shot 
Uh, now the peop now <clears throat> the viewers can uh, actually because this is not free. This it's gonna cost a lot of money to make something like this to commission to commission this kind of work. Uh, now, if you guys want to be included in some fashion, you can PayPal me like between like ten and thirty dollars. And we'll include some. You see, there's there's uh, there's all kinds of objects on the table, right? And there's like big objects around here. Oh, so no. what we can do, we can sneak in your oh, no. Easter eggs in here. And that's like, you know, if it's something small, it'll be ten bucks. But if it's something bigger, it's twenty dollars. And okay. and then we'll sell it back to you. So <laughs> no, but but people who contribute, they'll get discounts. So uh, on the on the art. So don't worry about it. Uh, and, and, so, if, and, if, and if it's an Australian tax dodger, it's 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much How much for a flashlight? Oh. Someone's going to. Well, no, no. Flash, no big deal. It's, ten, <laughs> it's like 10 bucks. It, we'll, we'll put it somewhere under the table here. <laughs> you know? Bam. There you go. See, it's all, we'll we'll can sneak in every whatever, whatever. I mean, no, but nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. Not like I was gonna say, like an actual dildo somewhere. A face slap, crazy, but a, a super slap. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like for example, if you wanna if you wanna park a Porsche in the background, right? That will cost like fifty. But like we could, you know, there could be a Porsche somewhere. Like in the background, we can actually have a Porsche. But anyways, like if you if you guys want something, if you want to be part of the image, uh, PayPal me like between ten and thirty. If you just want to help us sponsor the image, because the more money I get, the more I, I'm spending all the money that I get from this. I'm paying it to the artist because we're gonna. I'm gonna bother the fike out of him. I'm gonna be putting in, you know, all kinds of things. We'll make it super interesting. Something for for the for the viewers. Some some kind of a interesting season one. This is I call the season one uh, piece of art. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll we'll do uh, next year. We'll do another piece. But this will probably take me some time to to finish up. But I think it's going to be impressive. It's, but it's going to be like cartoonized like like the simpsons yeah yeah kind of, we'll just well i'm we'll, just gonna keep working with this artist this year it'll be simpsons next year maybe it'll because because this guy relatively cheap right to do it non-simpsons it's gonna be so remember so i wanted to do non-simpsons right it would have cost a thousand dollars but we're just not there yet yeah. so we'll do simpsons so yeah this is gonna be simpsons cartoon uh Kind of like the way the way we did uh, arch this art. Let's see. It's gonna kind of look something similar to this. You know, it's gonna. It, I mean, it's good. It's really good. It's gonna be really good quality. You know what I'm saying? It, it's gonna be good. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be long. It's see, this is uh like a. I, I found this image on the internet, but it's pretty terrible because it's condensed. Right, it's it's not the actual painting, right? Because the actual painting is really long. But I'll have it. I'll have it actually be long, so that way when we put it on the mug, it completely wraps around. That way we'll have something freaking amazing. Anyways, this is what I wanted to kind of let. I mean, if you stuck around this long, then you probably you. You probably are interested in something like this. Let's be honest. And nobody who stays who stays watching the show this long will find out what the hell we're talking. And they'll about. be able to get it in the uh, Streamlabs. They shop, will right? not be able to be to get into the show into the the image as well, right? It's only for the really dedicated viewers. Okay. So, anyways, I'm gonna end it on this note. I want to thank Lolex. Thank you for coming on to the show, sharing that amazing story yeah with us afterwards for a minute my boys Fuck, that was crazy barbing heart thank you perth good show thank you for 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 helping me Not start it up thank you for having me ah that was so cool thank you for the slap <laughs> no i don't i didn't like it <laughs> captain thank you so much and oh she's, she's behind you tim watch out yeah i have to watch out what do you look what she's looking i don't know what she's looking for stapler all right 
Yeah, Stapler, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. Wow, look at that. Explore to Polar Dot. I think I had something to do with uh, convincing uh, you burbs to get it. No? You did. You did. I did. That watch is amazing. I'm going to bring my... Oh, oh, we, I completely forgot. We were supposed to talk about which watch should I bring with me to Barcelona to get completely mugged and stolen. We'll talk about it tomorrow. So well, One that you draw on your wrist. <laughs> the one that I'll get my wrist cut off for. The one that, uh, you, that you draw yourself on there. <laughs> Get yourself a cheek Seiko when you when you land. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Woo. All right, guys. Uh, what, why not? Why not? Uh, Glass Huta. Glass Huta. Glass Huta. <laughs> Original. Uh, now I, I was gonna I, I was gonna talk about uh, like uh, stopping by the Glass Huta, but I don't want to get mugged on the way to the Glass Huta. It's actually people scared the, the fight out of me. Uh, I got I got a lot of messages telling me people were telling me like don't bring anything unless you want to die. I was like, what the hell? Die? Crazy. But uh, yeah, we'll talk about that tomorrow. And I'm leaving Wednesday. I'm leaving for for for. So I might not do. I might not be on the show Wednesday because my plane who, who leaves you, at, I have to re, I have to I have to I have to re register the seats I have to register the seats who, right. who are you flying with Tim Delta Oh okay should go oh, well I was lucky enough that I went with Emirates before the pandemic top, Yeah top floor of the A380 let me tell you it's bloody nice <laughs> Cool Man, I'm going to try to upgrade my seats to first class Wish me luck guys Ooh. for free for free because I have the medallion I have the medallion Wish me luck. I, please, please, please. All right, guys. Please, I'll see you Delta, tomorrow. If you're listening, we've got a VIP that needs an upgrade on aisle I one. Need mm. If you work at Delta, guys, please make it make it go through. Bye, everybody. Let, let, 